What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to enable the Google Assistant on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Now this video is featured on the Samsung Galaxy playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. Now in order to complete this tutorial, you're going to need the Samsung Galaxy wearable app for your Android smartphone. And it's also recommended you check for a watch software update in the watch settings section of the wearable app to ensure that your watch has the latest features. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. And that being said, you can find the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and other related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are at the main page of the wearable app for the Watch 4 Classic. Now, of course, if your watch isn't shown by default, you can click on the three lines on the left side of the page here and that'll open a slide out menu and then you can look for your watch and tap on it and this will take a moment but then it would bring you to the watch page next we'll search for watch settings we shouldn't have to scroll too far here and tap on it and that'll open a new page we'll then look for advanced features this is going to be in the middle of the page here and we're going to tap on that as well and here we get another new page next we're going to look for the section titled home key and you can see that's going to be towards the middle of the page and as for the home key, it's going to be that top button on the Watch 4 Classic here. You can also tell which one it is. It has a hint of orange or red trim around it. Now, as you can see in this home key section, we have double press and press and hold. And these are two different options you can use to enable the Google Assistant. Now, I will say the press and hold option is going to be more limited. You can see that when we tap on this, we get a drop down menu. And our first option is Wake Bixby, which is the default. Then we have Power Off menu, and then we have Assistant. Now, in case you're wondering, Assistant, if you do check on that, that would be used to enable the Google Assistant. They just left out the Google portion there. But if we go to the double press option, you can see that we get a really long list of extensive app options that would open if we were to use the double press feature. So if you've gotten this far in the video, you don't have to use the Google Assistant for the double press function. You can use any of these apps here. So just good to know. So we're going to go ahead and tap Assistant and you can see double press is now going to be used for Assistant. Next, we'll try the feature on our watch, which will walk us through the rest of the startup process by tapping on Get Started. On the watch, we can then tap on Open on Phone to activate. You can then see that the app will start connecting to the watch. Now, the interesting thing about enabling the Google Assistant on the Watch 4 Classic is, of course, you can use, again, that home key to trigger the Google Assistant, but you can also trigger the Google Assistant by voice, which is what these next two pages indicate. However, to use the Google Assistant by voice, you'll have to make sure that your watch is fully awake, which we'll talk more about in a minute. We can then allow the Google Assistant to get personalized results like calendars or reminders on our watch. And the final page completes Google Assistant setup on the Watch 4 Classic by tapping Done. So let's wrap things up. So again, you can trigger the Google Assistant by voice on the Watch 4 Classic, but your watch has to reach full awakeness. Now the best way to bring your watch to full awakeness is by raising your wrist. Now you can tell when full awakeness is achieved because the display on the Watch 4 Classic will become slightly brighter. Now if this isn't happening automatically, you'll have to enable this feature, which you can learn by tapping on the card in the corner of this video. As for using the Google Assistant by button or voice, both seem to be very reliable. And when it comes to voice, I didn't have to yell into the watch and I didn't have to raise the watch to my face. Now, if you are familiar with the Google Assistant, you know that there's Hey Google and OK Google, which we're going to trigger here. You can use both for the Watch 4 Classic. And also a side note when it comes to bringing your Watch 4 Classic to full awakeness, if you have your arm hanging to the side or if your arms are placed on a flat surface, your Watch 4 Classic may not be in full awake mode and you won't be able to trigger the Google Assistant. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below.
There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.